We're coming to take over the Apex, man. I'm the Apex Predator, and they got this Ultimate Fighter reality show going on when I'm supposed to be in here training, man. They won't even let me to the PI right now because I don't play well with others, so I'm coming to take over the Apex. Well, lose some weight, bro. I got money to make. Night, we hear the apex. <laughs> wow. Nothing crazy, just to help him to cut some weight. He still has a lot of energy, man. When the mouthpiece comes in, chaos comes out, baby. The king of Miami is here. It's gonna be a easy way cut, and he's gonna be more than ready for Saturday to put up a big show. Kobe looks amazing, man. You know, very professional. You know, his weight is amazing. Remember that we've been training for Masvidal for a long time already. When he came to us, like, was already to really fight Masvidal. We know Masvidal's game, and we've been like a mimic of Masvidal the whole time. The way he's gonna fight, that's the way we train every single day. So he knows exactly what he's gonna do. Styles, how they know they're the ways of fighting. No, I think it plays a big role. I think they're training for a long enough time that they know that their tendencies when they're when they're fighting, you know. So I'm sure they can both anticipate, you know, some of the stuff they're about to do. And, and I think it does give an advantage to Georgie, just because he's more creative and more crafty. And I think he, you know, he comes up with things, you know, that most fighters don't come up. You know, he adapts to fights a lot easier than most fighters don't do. So I think he has an ability to pick up tendencies a lot better than most fighters do. like a basic cold or if the athlete's very used to it they like to go very extremely cold that's when it gets up to like a hundred negative 80 degrees it's, it's cold man that's you man it's cold as Pennsylvania summer that's yeah that's a pencil I'm from Miami Dade County bro I'm from Dade County They got to keep moving. We have the boots, the gloves, no jewelry. Make sure they're completely dry if they're sweating. Um, the sweat can actually like freeze on their skin. It's a little uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> One minute. Yeah, see? Abort mission. It's a goal. No. It's a terrible idea. We're in the drying cycle now. Okay. Right. On a scale of one to ten, that was a in terms of four. It's not painful. Once you get used to it, it's cool. Ladies and gentlemen, package from American Airlines. I was at the pool, you know, relaxing with my family, and my, my manager called me and, and said, did you see that Fiziv drop out the fight? He offered the fight, and the next day they, they set up the whole thing, and I'm here now in Vegas. No questions, it's opportunity, big show, big pay-per-view card, great opponent. And I like to challenge myself, you know, and I feel like uh, it's my time now. Caralho, tá treinando. Messi, vamos treinar, velho. Porra! Vamos treinar, mano. Tá? É, vamos nessa, meter a porrada, velho. Tem caô. Meter a porrada nesse cara, velho. Infelizmente pra ele. This is a lot of food. 
Break fast. I think uh, Rafael dos Anjos is a great fighter, you know, but I trust myself and Saturday I'm gonna show the world who I am. That's it. As you progress through your career, the lights start getting a little brighter. I mean, does it feel like bigger each time? Or as you said, I mean, does it still feel like any other fight? I mean, it, it feels like any other fight. And because when you go in there, all this shit goes out the window. And you get that same feel of a fight that I've had since I fought people at the bus stop, you know, when I was a kid. All right, now we'll do fist up. It's just a little movement for me. Now, when I go through these processes, I mean, it feels like a religious experience. I feel an overwhelming sense of purpose and passion, I, and it feels amazing. Hey, Thank you, boy. Nice to yeah. meet you, brother. Yeah, good, yeah. good. Good luck. Yeah, I wish you good yeah, health. Yeah, I wish you good health, brother. Thank you. I'm Edson's manager, but I, oh, I like hey, everybody. Brother. I get along brother. with everybody. Brother. 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 I wish you good health. Thank you for accepting the fight, you know, okay? He, he, has, he has two kids, brother. I wish you yeah. nothing but good health. Good. And You're success. a good kid, too, okay? Yes, brother. I've only known you for a day, but I feel like you're truly a very confident person. Where does that come from? My biggest inspiration is God, but of course, through my mother. Honey, I need you to try them on. Okay. So yes, they just arrived. Okay. Everything in my life has led me up to this, this point. I want to be remembered for how much I can help people. And it will, by the end of my career, people will look back and say, wow, he did a lot to help. Hey, what's up, Bryce? How you doing? How you feeling, man? Oh, great, brother. Good as can be. They won't say, oh, he knocked out this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and did that. And that, that's not what they'll talk about first. They'll talk about, look what he did to help through this sport. Looking fly, brother. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, get you a hug, dog. Yeah, God bless you, brother. I pray for your health, man. We'll do that for sure, anytime. Quick picture for the grand for all my fans out there. I'm ringing that bell, baby. Does this one feel different to you, though, than, say, T. Wood or some of the other rivalry matchups in your career? Oh, definitely. This, this one feels way different. But it's not the ultimate feelings championship. It's the ultimate fighting championship. So I got to go out and separate my emotions and feelings on Saturday night and separate Jorge Masvidal's consciousness on Saturday night. Tell me about your relationship and what was the start of the, the beginning of the end, shall we say? Yeah, you definitely consider us best friends. I would say closer to brothers than, than best friends, you know, brothers from another mother. So if you were best friends, why would he come out there and start spreading these lies? the jealous and enviousness. You know, he wanted to be the top dog in the gym. And it's like the old saying goes, Michael, everybody wants to know you're doing well, but they never want to see you doing better than them. People talk about how you guys can keep the emotions in check. Can you describe what do you think you're gonna feel when the ref finally says go on Saturday night and you can finally put hands on him? Just another fight, man. Like, I, like I've said it, there's a lot of emotions, but those will be left for after the fight. Maybe I'll cheer a little bit harder. Maybe I'll eat more cheeseburgers after. But I think I'm going to make it look very easy come Saturday night, and people are not going to even give me credit. They're going to be like, yeah, I guess Masvidal was right. Kobe's overrated, overranked, and a piece of individual. Thank you, everybody. Get ready for some violence on Saturday, man. My bank goal is going to be up.